Diablo 3 may indeed be getting an expansion. Yes, thanks to a new job listing on Blizzard's career site, the company is looking for talent to work on a Diablo-related project. The posting is looking for an art director on an unannounced project, someone with a passion for games with a deep understanding of the Diablo franchise. All right, so it's just a hint that an expansion may be on the way, but with their recent announcement of World of Warcraft Legion, it would make quite a bit of sense to make Diablo 3 the star of the show now. Guess we'll find out more come BlizzCon in November. Maybe find out before then? November just seems so far away. Get your ears and eyes ready for this one. A clever YouTube user who goes by the name of Dynasty has put together a video of a PC mod that shows off Mortal Kombat X characters completely unmasked. Characters Aaron Black, Farrah Tor, Sub-Zero, Jason Voorhees can all be seen with their fully developed faces along with two non-playable characters, Rain and Smoke. Hmm, interesting. Maybe these unmasked versions will become available as DLC down the road. All of this I would totally be down with. Make it happen, Netherrealm. Final Fantasy VII Remake is happening, and I couldn't be happier, but in a recent interview with Nova Crystallis during Gamescom, we found out that Square Enix has zero plans to use Luminous Engine in the development of the remake. Hajime Tabata said Final Fantasy VII Remake is not planned to be made with that. Alrighty then, interesting to note, their other big title, Kingdom Hearts 3, was built on Luminous, however switched to Unreal Engine 4 later down the line. Could Unreal be what they used for Final Fantasy VII? Mayhaps. Either way, I'm just holding out for a release window already. <gasps> just too good. Something else good you should keep an eye out for, by the way, is the first entry of IGN's roster 316. We'll be unveiling the entire WWE 2K16 roster for you starting today until its release. With a new reveal every Monday morning, just bookmark this link right here to stay on top of the roster, but also get a bunch of fresh new screenshots, artwork, and epic videos as well. We already have the first batch of character reveals, so go check it out. Got a hankering to bust out the old action figures and make them fight? How about revisiting some tried and true classics? Welp, you're about to get all that and more. Here's what's out this week. Multi-platform action strategy hybrid Toy Soldiers War Chest lets you pit your favorite toys from your childhood against each other. Whoa, you can even have Ezio from Assassin's Creed face off against Cobra Commander from G.I. Joe. This game looks like pure fun and I want it. Everyone's Gone to the Rapture, the next release from Dear Esther developers The Chinese Room, tells the story of the inhabitants of a remote English valley who are caught up in the end of the world. The non-linear open world experience pushes innovative interactive storytelling to the next level. Goat Simulator is back and now our good old pal the goat is rampaging his way onto the PS4. Headbutt your way into pure chaos on this purposely bug-filled, slapstick-heavy, nonsensical joyride and earn those sweet, sweet trophies on Tuesday. Gauntlet Slayer Editions, sadly not a version with most metal band of all time melting your face off in the background, but a rad one nonetheless slices its way onto PS4 this Tuesday. Grab three other buddies and chop away at goblins and ghouls in this nostalgic medieval co-op. And that's your daily fix for August 10th. I'm Naomi Collins. Remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.